Welcome back to Flareport.com show, my friends. Unfortunately, we're gonna find Rob Houston. We don't know where he is. We're gonna go in a search for the ultimate searching Rob Houston what the in hell? this hotel. He been gone a long time, more for an hour. What the hell? It was he his breakfast. He went for elevator, get upstairs. What the hell? It's, he crawled up here. It's gonna be like almost him. 24 hours already. Well, what the hell? Yeah, I guess so. We actually we keep rolling this thing and. Give it away. So my friends, my uh, guest right here is the best mixologist ever, Josh Gates. And we are here at Tell Something Cocktail. Try to find out which is your main thought and your ideas about what is happening in Tell Something Cocktail is here for you. Well, this been here my for time, no problem. I love city. Big, real nice. New Orleans, wonderful city, no problem. They have great, great seafood, really good. Dragos, grilled, grilled oysters, very good, no problem. Acne, a little bit problem. I don't know why, but big problem. Um, but Tales of Cocktails has been a great experience for me. Um, it's opened up my eyes to where I thought I was and kind of pushed me back um, to really where I am. So it's kind of humbled me a little bit. Um, so, But all the con conferences have been great. Um, I've learned a lot. Um, Tobin and Dean and... Uh, Shell Charming, I actually bought her first book that's unfortunately out of print, but maybe you can find it on uh, www.shellcharming.com. Uh, that's going to be expensive. Ding, ding, ding. Maybe it's going to be eBay. expensive. Mm -hmm. eBay. Yeah, eBay. That's what they said. But, you know, um, <laughs> but things like that have been great. We saw the uh, Science of Stirring, which was actually pretty good. Um, a lot of stuff. I mean, who doesn't love a big bottle of liquid nitrogen? Exactly. <laughs> So, and then actually talking about liquid nitrogen and it was everything called for you this year, I want to know why you <laughs> didn't get laid until so the cocktail this year, god damn it. Everybody did. <laughs> what, happened did? With? what the hell, I heard you strike out two, no problem. What two? The hell? And a guy. <laughs> oh, you and a guy? No, no, I'm what saying another guy. I so thought cool you married. Well, you know, happens, shit happens, everybody he drinking, I mean there. like seven fucking days drinking, whatever, so let's say. Uh, I'm sorry, my wife. It's at home, and I am just doing this thing for the interview. So on her cool. birthday. <laughs> <laughs> on her birthday. Yeah. yeah. What the hell? <laughs> Big liar. I just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, I did not like due to lack of trying. Um, <laughs> <laughs> didn't like to try what? I kind of got kicked out of my room a couple times. You know what? I guess that I gotta get you a dungeon cherry. You see, to fuck it up. <laughs> what about that? That'll be interesting. That so. would be my first cherry this <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> let's go like, for that. So let's see if actually one. our production and we have the, the manager lovely, can uh, get us a cherry. Director of, lovely uh, I manager of production here Cafe right here. Circuit in Atlanta, she Georgia. She is giving away a cherry. I'm sorry, Rob. Please, pop it up, gently, this is ignite be nicely. Bad. Just be careful, don't drink, hey, hey. <laughs> You're dripping. It's out of the hole, <laughs> You're dripping. Suck it up, and go for it. There you go. Very nice. That's Can we take nice. my crotch out of camera? What, I I like what the hell? What the hell? And yeah, that's, I told you. The, oh, and look what we have. One of the main drinks <laughs> in New Orleans, which is called the hand grenade. The hand, what do you what, what do you think about so the hand grenade and disaster. all this mixologist uh, around and actually your point of view being a great mixology actually you have become beating my ass twice but it's not gonna happen again <laughs> but you can do actually, it and you actually, know what you I heard we're doing another comp in, oh. down in West Palm Beach at Club gonna Safari be? Marriott. Uh, September 19th through the 21st, but to our gonna be the one wonderful gonna folks of uh, Rob Husted and, and uh, Club Safari with Flamebar.com and <laughs> BarWars.LLC. I hear Bar something Wars about LLC. the premium mixers. Finest call. Finest call. <laughs> They're always a wonderful sponsor. And don't forget, my favorite vodka, Absolute Acai. <laughs> acai. Yeah, talking about the Acai. Yeah, I really want to know what it's all about that <laughs> <laughs> uh, that you do. I mean, like, I really want to know. You're so famous for that. I mean, like, it's a signature drink who presents your 
Your greatest famous thing. You <laughs> told me about it. Um, the Tokyo Tea actually came up at another uh, Bar Wars uh, LLC competition. Uh, we, uh, you know, they're the only ones that do a working flair competition. And uh, at the time, I had to do a Tokyo Tea and the wonderful Jordan. Oh, shh. And I can't remember his last name. Ben, yeah, that guy, ben that guy. It was ben actually Nick a friend of ours. Out of forever. Orlando, from uh, I believe he works at Mako's in Orlando still. So as they an make MC. like six five. He in North Carolina now. North Carolina. He moved to North Carolina. What the hell? <laughs> what the what the hell in North Carolina? I don't you know. From Orlando, North Carolina. What the Where hell? They, and they... <laughs> Yeah, it's one of those things. And now, but anyways, he is the one. Um, I actually pulled a uh, a drink list that had the Tokyo Tea on it, and he is the one to help uh, push forward the uh, Tokyo Tea movement uh, that came up as my nickname, and as uh, has since been kind of my mixology alter ego, because uh, it's helped me kind of loosen up with cameras, and <coughs> I can deal with all that because I'm Tokyo Tea, no problem. Which is great. Which is <laughs> Andy's wearing a hat. Great, actually. <laughs> Uh, but he, uh, it was uh, the bartender bash when the first time actually you get final this first place. Uh, first place. I actually was so glad you did it because either that I had Who that I knew that, that by the way. Uh, somebody else. You. <laughs> no, I get there. Well, well. Oh. So yeah, and then, well, the thing is, um, all these actually mix all your things involving you, all this knowledge, all these flavors you got. Tell me about your culinary experience, your knowledge, and how you become this guy so flavorful. Um, I actually, <laughs> I actually have a forty-three thousand uh, dollar piece of paper. Uh, it's from uh, Le Cordon Bleu. I don't think they're gonna give me a sponsorship, but anyways, <laughs> 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 yeah. Le Cordon Bleu. <laughs> Maybe they could uh, oh, yeah, avenue yeah. this as it's another new pod, by <laughs> as another <Awesome>. medium. <laughs> Um, but I did have a wonderful education with uh, Le Cordon Bleu, and it really helped me um, identify classic flavors and to where things marry well together. And I used that, what I've learned there, to help me integrate uh, different flavors, um, especially now since a lot of people are going a little more savory. Um, we just had a uh, butter washed um, Absolute Citron at our wonderful spirit dinner here at Tales of the Cocktail. Um, by LeBlanc, I believe, um, and Simon, he was the, the basically the main... Well, yeah, and, one of the big uh, solid, solid, one on the big solid solid in charge of the Jamie Gordon, Chris Patino. And, and Jamie Gordon and, and Chris Patino. And, 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 and Chris Patino, they did a wonderful job. Dinner was great, thank you very much. Yeah. We had a, I know our table was, I think, the life of the, uh, the tasting. Yeah, what was, um, your, what was your favorite By the drink? way, I heard Rob's pregnant. Um, <laughs> That was a big thing. Oh, uh, last night. What? Just so the what? Can we rewind this part and do it again? Cool. What? Yeah. I'm, you know. And I heard he's pregnant now. Um, he was a father. Got it. So, my friend, tell me actually the we, last question sorry, I'm going to ask you. It's it's actually very important that I want to find out. And um, and, and this tells of the cocktail. What was your first or the most important seminar that you attend? Um, I don't know maybe if it was um, one in particular, but a lot of them have really been into emphasizing that we are all bartenders. Um, I mean, Tobin slash Toby. <laughs> slash. The RS slash. The RS slash. And then, and even Dean Sunil's and everyone's been like, we're more focusing on, you know, trying to get everyone together and being a bartender as opposed to giving us big fancy names and labels um, because at the end of the day we really are all bartenders and that's kind of been the the nice driving home message so far here at Tales of the Cocktail. That's good and like he said we all of us clean mm -hmm. ashtrays. So thanks for watching FlareBar.com show and this is Josh Gay and thanks to you guys for watching FlareBar.com show.